so uh, I've kind of used the word symbol and I, you know, there was a definition uh, given by Whitehead, but it's actually a rather vague possibly uh, a word or you know, used in, in many different ways by different people, sometimes not defined at all, even though it's used. Um, so here's an attempt to describe some features of symbols, um, but the, this won't you know, please everyone. Uh, they've been described as abstract and reusable building blocks. So definitely the idea that you, know, you have smaller components that combine into to larger things. Uh, and then the notion that they're discrete and arbitrary. So the symbol is its own thing and it relates to something in the world, but the thing that it relates to is not derivable from the symbol. So the word milk and the word leche both relate to the same object in the world, but you can't look at the letters in the word milk and be able to understand that or in leche, they're just these separate symbols and you know they, uh, they relate to things in the world, but there, there's nothing in the symbol itself that, uh, that gives you that. And so, yeah, as Whitehead said, uh, you can never forget the meaning of language and trust in your syntax to help you out. So, uh, yeah, these symbols are, you know, little islands of uh, objects that simply relate in an arbitrary way to, uh, to something out in the world, usually. And then what's really important in terms of, you know, making this not just symbols, but a symbolic system or a symbolic processing system is that the symbols can be related through formal relationships and rules. So even, you know, you can consider part of the definition um, of a symbol is that uh, it's defined in relation to other symbols and what you can do with that symbol according to these rules. So what is good about symbols or a symbolic processing system? What can we kind of attribute to systems that use symbol manipulation? Uh, generalization is one thing that they're supposed to be good at because you create this system of rules of how to manipulate a symbol that's defined a certain way and you can put in a new symbol and just apply the right rules to it and get a conclusion that wasn't put into the system already. So it can kind of deduce new information by applying rules uh, to, to symbols. And then also if you know, the rules and relationships between the symbols represent some sort of causal mechanism, then you can do causal reasoning. You know, if this were true, then what, what would happen and, and come to conclusions like that. Um, also just because you know, these symbols work as like um, you know, slots that can be filled and, and put through the, the manipulation process, it can also embody analogies. So you have a structure and you say, uh, in one domain, you know, these pieces work together like this, but I think maybe this other domain is working similarly and I can put those symbols into this structure and, and think it through the same way. And then also there's this um, idea of compositional thinking because, uh, you know, if you have a rule that says if I combine symbol type A with symbol type B, I get symbol type C. Now I just have symbol C and I can go and act on that with the rules that apply to it. And so you can just kind of create this, you know, hierarchy of concepts where you're um, using symbols as stand-ins for even broader sets of symbols and that kind of thing. And then of course, yeah, the application of, of rules, um, basically, you know, symbol, symbolic manipulation systems are uh, the way to just very strictly apply uh, predetermined rules. And so if you want a system that can do that, this is, this is how you do it. <laughs> 